Tonight, there are new questions about police keeping Highland Park safe. Should some of them even be there? These new questions came to light as the seven investigators exposed a case of misconduct involving two officers, including the second in command. Seven investigator Jim Kirchner is live in Highland Park tonight with the information you need to know. Jim? We've watched Highland Park over the years go through a lot. Financial scandals, state takeovers. It's under control now of a mayor and city council, but the budget is still thin, and so is the police department. Um, there's some things that I need to address that we are, in fact, addressing. That chief just fired Reserve Police Officer Curtis Wilson for using the city police SUV on personal time. It was assigned to Lieutenant Jamil Edwards. She let him use it. She just got a three-day suspension. But the seven investigators found that Wilson worked as a bar bouncer three years ago here at the Club Celebrity on Detroit's west side. He got into a shootout with a guy he tossed out. A third man was shot twice and was in critical condition. Detroit police requested Wilson to be charged with assault with intent to murder. Did you establish whether he disclosed that? No, I don't have any comment on that. What would be the ramifications if he took the job here and didn't disclose that? Sir, I'd, I'd rather not discuss that. But get this, until the latest misconduct, Wilson was working as a reserve officer on the streets of Highland Park. That should not have happened. If he had a, a felony case hanging over him? Yeah. No. He would not have been no, hired? No. Would not have been put on the street? Correct. Right. Chief Chester Logan just took over the Highland Park Police Department in January. After four decades in Detroit, the department is him, that lieutenant he just suspended, three sergeants, three corporals, then 40 part-timers, and 70 reserves who work as unpaid volunteers. They can't make arrests and call in when they encounter trouble. And they're, uh, they're a big part of our job. Right. But they are not all clean. We named the names of other reserve officers who've been in serious trouble. Well, I'm not really prepared. I need to go back and review, and uh, I'm not prepared to respond to okay. anything about that. Police Chief Chester Logan is well respected by most. You remember four years ago, he became interim chief in the city of Detroit after a police chief sex scandal. He has a lot of work to do here. Live in Highland Park, Jim Kurtzner, 7 Action News. All right, Jim, thank you for the live report.